Hello guys, welcome back! In this video I will show you how you can easily edit voice memos on your iPhone. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. And of course, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So first, open up voice memos app and uh, just let's make some voice recording. I'll just hit at that record button and now I can keep talking. I can make some pause here in that way and now I can continue talking again. Once I finished recording, I can hit a stop button to stop recording. Here it is, new recording 3. And now if I want, I can edit that recording. I can hit right here at three dots and then select edit recording. Now first I can trim it. I can tap at that trim sound to bring up trim mode and then simply by moving uh, that yellow thing I just need to catch it in that way, so I can move it to trim uh, the beginning of that video. I can just hit a trim icon, and in the same way I can uh, I can trim the last part, so I can move this thing and then hit on trim. Once I finished with trimming, I can hit right here at save, and now I can move that playback marker to the last part of that recording and I can resume it. I can hit at resume and I can continue making voice recording right in the existing voice recording. That's pretty nice feature. After you finished, you can hit add pause. Also, there are some more cool features here. You can tap at that icon that gives you that options. And first, you can increase or decrease playback speed just by dragging it right or left in that simple way. Also, you can automatically skip silences. You can just toggle this feature off and it will remove any silences from your voice recording. Pretty nice feature. And also you can enhance recording. Just enable this feature to make your voice sounds more clear. Then you can hit at that X icon and then you can hit on done to save all the changes. In any time you can go back here, hit at three dots and continue editing this recording if you wish. Now you can write down in the comments below if you have any questions about that tutorial and also I recommend you to check out my iPhone tutorials playlist where you will find a lot of useful videos. You can easily find that playlist in description. Hit the like button if you like that video and I see you in the next one.